Let's create our first chart with sheets. Start with a blank spreadsheet. This one we're going to call Pete Rose Hit Distribution. We're going to be creating a pie chart which shows the distribution of his hits, singles, doubles, triples, and home runs as a proportion of the total hits. We're going to have two column headings. The first one, type of hit, and the second one is going to be count. The types of hits that are possible are singles, doubles, triples, and home runs. So those go in column A below the heading. And then we have the count for each. He had 3,215 singles. Make sure you format that as a number and you decrease its decimal size. Using the Format Painter, paint that format to the other cells. 746 doubles, 135 triples, and 160 home runs. Awesome. Formatting. Let's center the titles, bold them, give them a nice gray background, and then let's increase the font size of the entire data set. Remember, you can double click to resize your headings automatically. We're going to create a little total. So we're going to put a bottom border and make it a double border. In A6, we're going to have a label called total. We're going to right align that, bold it, increase its font size, and italicize it. Now we're going to use our first function. Remember, functions start with an equal sign. We're going to use the sum function because we want to total up the values in the data cells. We want to sum up the values starting in B2, ending in B5. That's how you show a range. There we go, 4,256 hits. Let's format that. Now we're ready to create our pie chart. Select the data range minus the total and go to Insert Chart. There's your chart editor. It will suggest a chart type for you. We're going to create a 3D pie chart. So make sure you change the chart type to that. Time to customize. This is going to be a 3D pie. We're going to deal with our chart title first. The chart title should be Pete Rose Hit Distribution. From the chart editor, we can do some formatting as well. Let's bold it, make it black, and increase it to 20 point size. Let's do the subtitle. Always make sure you include the source of your data. So we're going to call this source and give the link to where we found the information. Excellent. The legend we want to bold and we can make it black. It looks pretty good. Now the series, we're going to change some of the colors. Singles are going to be represented by a very particular type of blue. So I'm going to put a custom color in there for blue. Double, we're going to change that as well. Make that green. My triples, I'm going to change the color of those as well. They're going to be a yellow. And then finally, my home runs, I'm going to give that data the color orange. Awesome. Now every slice has its own unique color. For my bigger slices, I want to show a data label. So go to pie chart and choose value under slice label and change the color of the text to white. As you can see, for singles and doubles, there's enough room to show the exact total, not just the percentage. Since Google Sheets is cloud-based, we can share our work using a URL. To do that, go to File Share. We want to get the shareable link. We want to make sure that anyone with the link can view it. You may have to click more to get that option. Then copy link to put the link into your clipboard, and that's what you'll share with me.